nearly 2,000 people in Marion County experienced homelessness last year. That's according to the latest count. And now millions in federal dollars will be going towards fighting homelessness in the county and city of Indianapolis. News 8's Amisha Ramsey has more for us. Hundreds of people lack a permanent home to lay their head down at night. And many of Indy's homeless are found in the downtown area, which can have an effect on businesses and restaurants. But there are resources available. There are several faces to homelessness. Um, along the railroad tracks over here in a little camp, I got it. You know what I mean? That's 50 year old Brian Brown. After losing a spouse, he's been on and off the streets for years. I can't guarantee anybody that owns a company any given one <clears throat> solid day worth of work or weeks worth of work. But that could change soon for people like him. Several organizations addressing homelessness are getting a boost. The Department of Housing and Urban Development awarded $9.4 million to the city of Indianapolis. For HUD COC funding, we do focus on those literally homeless right now because of the issue of vulnerability. Tackling some of the homeless population in the downtown area. How do we help those people? How do we meaningfully find work for them? How do we find housing for them if they are not uh, housed? Uh, and how do we take care of them? They're aiming to help people with rental assistance and housing vouchers, but they need help from the community. We're really looking for partnerships is with landlords and units, making sure that there are flexible tenant screening practices, um, because when you are experiencing homelessness, there's a likelihood you might have an eviction on your record. You may have a criminal history. You may have things that typically get screened out when applying for a unit. So how do we address some of those barriers? The goal is to offer long-term stability to ultimately give people like Bryant a place to call home and a peace of mind. If you've had a home, you've had a toilet, and you've had air conditioning and things like that, once you come out here, you don't have those conveniences anymore, and you got to maintain however you can. Now, one of their goals is to help individuals who are experiencing homelessness to spend no longer than 30 days without a safe and affordable home. Reporting in Indianapolis, Amisha Ramsey, WishTV, WishTV.com, and follow us on Facebook.